channel on YouTube has just shown a full unboxing of what looks to be the Mavic Mini 2. We think it's genuine, it certainly looks genuine, and in this video we're going to have a closer look. Hey folks, and welcome to Droning On Live. This is a very, very ad hoc last minute stream because we've just seen this video on YouTube and it's got us very interested. So basically, there's a channel on YouTube called Our Beatific World. I'm sorry if I've mispronounced that. This guy only has 35 subscribers, but he's just been into Best Buy and he's bought a Mavic Mini 2. If you have a Best Buy nearby, Get down there now, because this reminds me very much of the Argos leak. You might remember this some time ago when I went into Argos and in the catalogue there was the Mavic 2 printed in its full glory. But this time, Best Buy seems to have actually listed the actual product, which is just bizarre. The actual product is there to buy. Hey to everybody in the chat. We've got hundreds of people watching right now. So let's dig straight into this. So what I've got here is the chaps video. Now I'm not going to pay it out in full but I'm just going to play some clips for you guys to actually have a look. It starts with him basically describing how he's walking into Best Buy. He looks at the shelf and there is a box with the Mavic Mini 2. Now at first I looked at this and I thought no this looks a little bit photoshopped. It doesn't quite look like the Mini 2 is actually printed on the box itself. But the more I look at it, and I've been right through this video in detail, and if you know Droning On, you know that I really, really verify things closely. It really does seem to be legitimate. It's there on the shelf, ready to be bought, and yet it's not even out yet. But retailers such as Best Buy and Argos keep making these errors. Whether they're intentional or not, who knows? Because let's face it, this kind of leak absolutely builds hype and that's why we're talking about it right now, preparing for this launch. The guy unlocks the thing, gets the box out for him, he buys it, he walks out <laughs> looking all suspicious, no doubt with a big smile underneath that COVID-19 mask. And then off he goes home, where he then basically unboxes it. Now this is the very interesting piece, and I think everybody watching will be interested in this bit. By the way, if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, hit that button below because you'll hear it first here. Whenever there's any breaking news like this, smash that subscribe button. Also give it a thumbs up, why not? On the box, Mavic Mini 2. Again, I thought that this looked a little bit photoshopped, but further analysis, I don't think it is. 249 grams again is the key element here. 31 minutes max flight time, really impressive. But this is the big one, the really big one. OcuSync 2 on the Mavic Mini, still 249 grams. I find this incredibly hard to believe. Uh, people are asking about the price in the chat. I don't think he mentions the price in the video, interestingly, and I literally haven't even had time to watch the whole video yet. It says about wind resistance on there. That's, I think, about 20 miles per hour or so. Three axis gimbal camera, 4K video. That's the second big headline here. The rest of it, I don't really care about, but OcuSync and 4K. Now the challenge here is that the Mavic Mini is a very light aircraft. It's not an aircraft which is very good in the in wind or any kind of conditions that are not perfectly still and people keep losing their Mavic Mini. I put a video out about a Mavic Mini 2 disappearing into the sea because the owner couldn't get it back through the wind and that was with regular Wi-Fi which keeps you flying it nearby. The challenge is if it legitimately does have OcuSync and you can legitimately fly it 10 kilometers away which is way out of sight then we're going to see lots more Mavic Minis lost. But anyway then he actually opens up the box. So there we go there's a Mavic Mini 2 box you'll notice the transmitter there the controller is the same as the Mavic Air 2 controller which as we know is OcuSync. There's the new Mavic Mini 2, apparently, but you'll also notice it's called Mini 2. So they seem to oddly have dropped the name Mavic. So it seems that DJI are, are, are going with a different strategy with their naming here because they turned Osmo Mobile into OM4. They turned the Pocket into the Pocket 2, not the Osmo Pocket 2. And now the Mavic Mini is going to be just the Mini, which is interesting. But you can see the form factor is almost identical. He's got the original and the Mavic 2 there. Almost no differences between the two. Controller obviously is the same as the Mavic Air 2. So it might be that you can use your Mavic Air transmitter with this. But the great thing is if this really does have OcuSync, 
I can use my smart controller with it, and I am so happy about that. Uh, we do see some different buttons, some different colouring on there slightly, but besides that, it all looks very much the same. You can see the charging hub there as well. Now, I've put a link to this guy's channel in the video below. Please do check out his channel and subscribe because I suspect he'll be one of the first to have his Mavic Mini 2 or Mini 2 up in the air. There you can see a close-up of the camera, 4K now. I looked at this and this looked very tacky to me. It didn't look very DJI. Normally they have the aperture on there and the size of the camera, but there's nothing but just 4K. It does look a little bit budget. Hey, Caroline Tyler RC, one of our club members in the chat. Hey, K-Spot, um, loads of our Mike Miller, Dynamic Clips. Great to see our channel members in there. Click the join button below, by the way. We've been talking about this already before I actually put the live out. Battery size there as well. And then the first flight of it. Um, I don't think he actually... Oh, yeah, it does get to fly it just about. But the video is quite low quality. Uh, oh, it's in 4K. Here we go. Probably going to break my internet now. But there you can see it. So that's all we have. Now, he's not really said anything else here apart from unboxing DJI Mini, Mini 2. I don't see anything in here that looks artificial or fake. But it's early days and this video only came out a few hours ago. His channel subscribers and views are zooming up and hopefully this will help him as well. And thank you as well for letting us use the video. Go and take a look at the video. Let us know what do you think. Is this the Mavic Mini 2? Is it the Mini 2 or not? I've also in the video description here put a link to the DJI teaser page. If and when this event is going to be announced, which it's going to be imminent, that teaser page is where you'll find it. So click that link and bookmark that teaser page right now, because then you'll be the first to see the trailer or the, the short snippet of video or imagery that we get before the actual event. So anyway, very interesting. Thank you again to that guy for the video. Very exciting. Loads of comments in there. Um, Fico saying they'll kill the Air 2 with those specifications. Not quite, because remember the Mini 2 or the Mavic Mini is a lightweight drone. It doesn't have the stability or the presence in the air that the larger, heavier aircraft do. And so you'll naturally get more stable video um, as a, from the platforms that are heavier. Um, Caroline Taylor, 4K indeed. Yep, absolutely. Zigzag socks. If it's got OcuSync, take my money. Oni1968 says, don't know, smells kind of odd. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, it looks real. There's too much effort gone into this for it not to be. I really do think. Um, Dara, isn't it on their website? No, Dara, it's not been released yet. That's what's so strange about this. But Best Buy have done this before. They've ruined DJI surprises and they've leaked stuff before release. Uh, Elliot Marks, obstacle avoidance, no sign of it. And it does look like the um, actual front elements where the obstacle avoidance sensors would be are not populated with anything. So I don't think it has obstacle avoidance. And remember, it's still 249 grams, but has OcuSync now. So for them to squeeze all of that, absolutely incredible. Um, whoa, we just got a new channel member, Fico. Thank you for joining. Good man. That's absolutely awesome. Um, so yeah, very, very exciting few weeks ahead. Uh, Fico, we'll see you in the Discord channel now for a chat after this live stream. So if you want to chat with us now and talk in more detail with a load of our awesome members, then join the club now. Just the most basic membership gets you onto our private Discord server with audio, video shares. I even share when I edit a video in there and share the screen. Henry Robotic, thanks for joining. Um, yeah, so this is very interesting. And again, this guy just put this live only a few hours ago. Walking into, into Best, Far, uh, Best Buy, picking up a Mavic, what looks to be a Mavic Mini 2, straight off the shelf there, right next to the Osmo Mobile 4 and the Mavic Air 2. For this to be fake, there'd be too much work involved here. And I like Photoshop but, um, and video editing, but to simulate this would be a, a lot of hassle. Or it's a PR stunt by Best Buy themselves. Who knows? Um, to gain some additional traffic. Because where's everybody going to go to buy their Mavic Mini now? It's going to be Best Buy. So maybe Best Buy set this up with a this channel who have not many, not many subscribers. Who knows? But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I'll leave you there with the specification screen and just let's talk about the highlights one more time. Still 249 grams, 31 minutes flight time, OcuSync 2 with 10 kilometers range and 4K video.
Oof. Right. So just as you thought you'd be able to start saving your money and stop buying DJI stuff for this year, I'm afraid you're going to have to start emptying out the piggy banks again because it looks like the Mavic 2 is imminently on its way. The latest news, breaking news, everything about this Mavic Mini 2, hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to join the club, you get a ton of exclusive perks. So click the join button now and we'll be chatting straight after this live stream. Thank you everyone for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.